What is a gay or a lesbian doing on the pulpit as a bishop or a pastor? Sometimes I ask myself, what is a gay doing on the pulpit? What is a lesbian doing in the choir? With our mouth, we profess that we know him. But by character, we are abominable. Haba, how can a gay call himself safe? Talk to me. How can a lesbian say she's safe? That she just have a witness? Or she, her own sexual orientation is different? Ha-ha, so me ha-ha. Then the apostles who have been gay, all of them. The sexual feelings of Paul were so shut down by the replacement that he never thought of a woman. You see the Reverend Father, that is saying we are serving God. <laughs> and they are copying Paul. Why they have not received the replacement? To shut them down. That's how they do all kinds of nonsense. You heard what my sister said on there? The one that gave back to Holy Child. When I say all time, I talk about Christianity as it ought to be. Bring it to all these our mega churches. They will close down. Because they don't meet the standard. But we allow a mixed multitude into the church. They sing in the choir. They walk in the, among the ushers. They walk among intercessors. They became preachers. They are the prophets. So now we have gays as pastors lesbians as prophetesses we have thieves as apostles we have heretics as mighty men of god we have false prophets as the generals of god's end time army so we have liars as the papas we have liars as the fathers of the land we have people who are not even born again as the one organizing crusades because of what the mixed multitude and moral corruption now reign among us because mixed multitude are the catalyst of moral corruption do not practice homosexuality having sex with another man as with a woman it is a detestable sin in other words it is disgusting and an abomination it is sad that many have become abominable and detestable in the sight of God. Whenever what God calls abomination becomes acceptable in the house of God, God leaves the house. The aim of the devil is to make the church do abominable things and chase God away from his church. Apostle expounds. Many people who are either prophets or prophetess or artists or sing, they are all gay lesbians, many, even preachers. Now, now, and God calls lesbianism abomination. Whenever what God calls abomination becomes acceptable in the house of God, God leaves the house. The agenda of the devil is to provoke the church to do things that will make the church lose the presence. And when you lose the presence of God, you will have other presence. Either you like me or not, I'm going to tell you things straight to your face. Those of you who are dreaming with naked women, dreaming with snakes and scorpions, don't you know you carry a demonic presence? Don't you know that you, you are living a life that has made God to go far away from you? How can a child of God be dreaming and having sex in the dream? How can a child of God be dreaming and having all those sex in the dream? And you wake up and say, who's stupid? I am, I am married. Shut up your mouth. You are stupid. Do you think God be holy iniquity? I want you to understand whether you like me or not. The firstborn doctrine is a crippled thing. First fruit is a crippled Day. Redemption of firstborn is a crippled day. Altars, altars, altars is a crippled day. It has been crippled. I mean, these are the crippled days you see in the home. Those who believe that they must give sacrifice to be free, you are stupid because the blood of Jesus has been sacrificed for you. So no money can be any sacrifice. How can you not be possessed if you believe that salt should be used in prayer? How can you not be possessed if you believe that water should be used in prayer? You are possessed with demons. That's why you are manifesting sorcery. Many people in the church today are not possessed. Even the image of jealousy has its own apostolic. That's how all of them are going by the title apostle. Apostle that. Apostle did. Apostle that. The apostolic is not for title. The apostolic is for content. It's to bring all that back to the body of Christ. It's to open the eyes of people to see the true God. It's to restore back the patterns of the spirit. It's to take us back to Genesis chapter 1 and 2. Anyone bringing heretic teaching is an apostate, not an apostle. Stop calling apostates apostles. Apostle goes ahead to tell us why most preachers are gays and lesbians who display wonders and scandals in their churches. 
so they focus themselves towards occultism and pull strength to manifest in the church that's why i see most of them are gay some will be told a number of women to sleep with every month some will be told if you don't sleep with women there are people you must kill that's why when when they get to pregnant you must kill the child because the child is not a sacrificial lamb on the altar if you give back to the child you're in trouble they say touch not my anointed and do my prophets know how you anointed prophet know how and they use demons to cast out demons higher demon casting out lesser demon that is why any deliverance ministry that is not leaving you with deposit of holiness change of character is demonic ministry it could get you healed it could take away your sickness but if you don't take away your sin it's demonic when you call a thief an apostle you make heaven rumble when you call a liar a prophet you make heaven rumble the fact that they carry the demon of divination does not mean you call them prophets when you call diviners prophet heaven rumble withdraw the title and stay safe heaven from rumbling go to churches where everything is money 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 the only thing here is prophecy you shall break through you shall break down you shall go you shall go you shall fly you shall fly in the name of jesus except the lord has not called me i promise i find your life eh? as move this place eh? this will move into your life eh? as you apply for the job eh? the job is going to answer you before you call he will answer hey god will bless you whether you like it or not he will just bless you he will just bless you when the prophet prophesies, you say see don't you know what you have done you have bought the prophecy you just bought it with your money they will say, God, I, I need I need to pray, I need to bless you. Just drop some things on the apostles' feet. You are buying prophecy. So why will you go and pay money for prophecy? That is the way of Balaam. Are you understanding me? Balaam was going to prophesy for a people to get the money they are promising. It's prophetic wickedness. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. But the wicked, it shall be ill with him. For he shall eat the fruit of his labor. It's a matter of lifestyle, not prayer, not prophecy. It's lifestyle. What kind of a life are you living? What kind of a life are you living? That is the key. Satan will zombify you before he attack you. He will give you a baptism of foolishness before he gives you a baptism of oppression. At this point, Apostle takes us through the image of jealousy that is found in many churches. For example, they tell you, Come to Jesus, and you will be rich. Come to Jesus, and you'll get married. Come to Jesus, and you will be healed. Come to Jesus, and all the attacks will cease. This group of people come to Jesus for what he can give, but not because of their love for him. This has made many who claim to be saved in church impostors because they have psychological salvation. Apostle expounds more. Then he said to me, Son of man, lift your eyes now towards the Lord. See, so, sorry, so I lifted my eyes towards the Lord. And there, not of the altar gate, was this image of jealousy in the entrance. Tell me the entrance. If you look at the church today, <laughs> the process of getting enlisted in the church alone, you must pass through the image of jealousy. You understand later. It is at the entrance. Entrance is a process of becoming part of the church. That is why I said many people who claim born again today, they are just psychologically saved. The name is not written in the book of life. In heaven is not. So they have recited a poem we call a sinner prayer because the entrance has an image of jealousy. That's what they tell you. You see, let me tell you the entrance that many give their life to Christ today. Come to Jesus, you will get married. Come to Jesus, you will have money. Come to Jesus, witches will stop attacking you. Come to Jesus, you will be healed. Is that why I should come to Jesus? That is the entrance. That is the image of jealousy being put at the entrance right there. That is why the image must go down because many who claim born again these days are not. They are imposters because they came through the image of jealousy. You can't be born again genuinely going through the image. It is right at the entrance. Even those who are calling to so-called Bible school, it's the same image. Check the so-called membership classes. It's the image of jealousy constructed there. Everywhere. Apostle concludes by giving an advice to the upcoming ministers of the gospel who want to avoid the corruption of gays and lesbians financing churches. Listen to this. You think God will sit in heaven and be clapping over a church on earth 
that gays and lesbians are seeing it as their territory you see why is it that all these men are caving in to the pressure of evil because some of the evil supply their resources that is why one way to escape from this evil you must pursue only the prosperity of the righteous any money that will come a corrupt way or from a corrupt person do not collect that will save you from this nonsense because the greatest financiers of all these American churches are gays and lesbians You'll be shocked how much money women like Beyonce have given to the church. The day they will expose it, they will tell the preachers that they have financed their churches. You think they are not sending money to church? Thanks for watching.